Stampede of Tyranids seek to crush all that stand in their way. Massive claws rip through Space Marines clad in ceramite like it was parchment. Their thick chitinous armor seems impenetrable to bolter fire, bouncing explosive round after explosive round. The Primarch himself, Rabute Gulliman, leads a contention from the Sixth Company, the Brethren of the Forge. Can the tank and armored warfare specialists of the Ultramarines take down the rampaging monstrosities from High Fleet Leviathan? This is 40k in 40 minutes, Crusher Stampede versus Ironstorm Spearhead. Hello folks, JT here, and oi howdy, this is going to be a spectacle to behold. Moobin has brought an all-monster list, and Tack has responded with a tank and dreadnought list, 2,000 points each side of massive claws and great big guns. I'm here to play the Iron Storm Spearhead because, and this is what I love about the new Space Marine Codex, you're not tied to a chapter. So now I can finally run all tanks and make it all terrains. Crusher Stampede is the detachment that I was waiting for. It's all big bugs all the time. You damage the bugs, they get better at hitting you. Wound them even further, they get better at wounding you. Movement's Crusher Stampede is led by Old Swarmlord, a monster that brought death and destruction to the Ultramarines' homeworld of McCrag. Other characters include his Neuro Tyrant and a Flying Hive Tyrant. Look for his two Screamer Killers to charge headfirst into the fray. Our Studio Screamers, affectionately named Huggy and Squeezy by Nick, have given Tack fits in the past and look to do the same in this fight. There is a Trigon that Moobin will probably hit Tack from reserves with and a Tyranifex to blast the Ultramarines from long range. The stars of the show might be the two Norns, one Norn Assimilator and the newly painted Norn Emissary. Today I get to go up against Tack, who's bringing a lot of armor. He's bringing six company Ultramarines, which is basically Dreadnoughts and tanks. I'm so excited to finally be able to run all tanks, Ultramarines, and get a detachment rule that supports it. Space Marine chapters may specialize in a particular style of warfare, but that doesn't mean that's the only thing they can do. The Ironstorm Spearhead Detachment looks to be tuned for the Iron Hands chapter, but works just as well for the tank specialists of the Ultramarine 6th Company. Leading the charge is the Primarch of the 13th Legion, the author of the Codex Astartes, Rabute Gulliman himself, with a tech marine that is enhanced with a target augury web. Tax brought a plethora of dreadnoughts, a Brutalis, a Redemptor, and two Ballistus dreadnoughts, probably his favorite new models. For tanks, he's got a Repulsor Executioner, and my favorite, the Astraeus. Whipping around the battlefield, doing his go-karting best to avoid being stomped, is a single Invader ATV. Target Augury Web Enhancement on the Tech Marine may be the scariest thing in this list. Weapons equipped by vehicles within six inches of that character will gain the Lethal Hits ability, and that Astraeus and Repulsor can put out serious firepower. I have now run my Astraeus in 10th edition, so I'm really excited to see what it can do. Its main gun is not what it used to be. It wants to hunt down elites, so we'll see what it does against monsters. This is gonna be a slugfest. Either all his stuff dies, or all my stuff dies, or everything just dies. These two armies will face off in a Dawn of War deployment today, and the mission is Take and Hold. Players will earn victory points for holding one, two, or more objectives than their opponent. Both players have decided on fixed missions this game makes sense with two very specialized forces, and they've chosen exactly the same secondaries. Both have chosen Bring It Down, as they need to eliminate each other's big units, and both have chosen Storm Hostile objectives, as they figure they'll need to kill their way onto those objectives. Move in. Let's betray expectations here. I know we always have weird games. Let's see if this one goes the way it's supposed to. All right, Tack. Monster Mash versus all armor all the time. It's time to see which one is better. Attack and Defender, I think it's the first roll we do. So I rolled a four. I got a five. I'll be Defender and I'll deploy first. Moving has put the Trigon and the Winged Hive Tyrant in reserves while Tax choosing to put everything on the table. I do not have a lot of options in deployment. I just have to make sure the entire army fits in the deployment zone. Amherstory is going to go in the middle. First thing I like to go down is the Strays, not because I want to, because I need to know where I can put everything else. I'm going to go right off the edge here. I have cover. Second Norn's going to go down this side. The second biggest 
brick I have. Go there on that objective. Turn effects. The yeah. big boom cannon. This dreadnought, it's got the minus damage, so I'm gonna put it right on the line. Of the two screamer killers that we have, this one's huggy. Bullets is dreadnought number one. Time for squeezy. Right, we're gonna put the squeezy over on this side. Retalus dreadnought. The Neuro Tyrant. My second Bliss is Dreadnought, it's gonna go on this objective. And last but not least, I've got the good old Swarm Lord. It's gonna actually go right here, so he's got a little bit of cover. Movement's forces can do a heck of a ton of damage in close combat, so most of his monsters are deploying right on the line. My Primaris Tech Marine, and it's gonna go over here where you can't see him. Gilman, because he wants to be within three of that Tech Marine. And last but not least, Zoom Zoom. Pick on someone his own size? Right, that's a good idea. tac has got a classic Ultramarine castle going, which makes sense, as the Tech Marine's aura is going to augment all of his weapons. That is deployment. I need to move up fast. So I think you do want to go first. Not all attacks guns are going to be able to get in line of sight on moving, but still he probably wants to go first and kill what he can before they crash into his castle. Uh, I got a five, you got a one. Move Looks in. like it's your turn. I get to go first, and with all these guns, this is a dream come true. Start a game, Mubin has to elect the objectives for both Norn's singular purpose. The Norn Assimilator wants that objective on the flank, and the Norn Emissary wants the center objective. Both Norns are gonna be super buffed if they get there. Tax gonna be going first. Good luck to both generals. Here we go! JT, we've gotta do a new sponsor ad. Yeah. So I just got off the call with them. And one of them was wearing a Silent King mask. No. They're really into Warhammer 40. Silent King mask. So it's combat card. Really? Yeah. No, Dude, I love combat cards. I've been playing it for years. Tell me about it. What, what, what is combat card? It's a collectible card game on my phone. So I can play it anywhere I want to, whether it's fighting, psychic, or shooting. It's really, really fun. Because you've got multiple different thematic warlords that inform how you play. So you can have that every time a card dies, you get better at shooting. There's clan events. So I'm actually part of a clan where we can war against other clans and try to score better. Cool events all the time where you can get extra cards. Is that the commercial? Is that, is that the sponsor bit? That makes it kind of easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. okay. Well, then I just need you to tell uh, the viewers at home they get free gifts if they use the promo code. Want to say it to the camera? So here's the really cool part about this. If you use code PLAYON, you're going to get some free gifts when you sign into the game. That's awesome. So yeah, combat cards. It's really, it's fun and it's a, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's a Gilliman. There's a Gilliman? There's a Gilliman. There's a Gilliman. Command phase. Each player ticks up a command point. Tack immediately puts Oath of Moment on the Norn Assimilator. And I'm going to use Supreme Strategist on Gilliman. What Supreme Strategist allows me to do is use a battle tactic for zero CP. I'm gonna to move to Tech Marine just this way, keeping him out of line of sight. Gilliman is just gonna move up a little bit. The Stress, all the way over here. All the Dreadnoughts and Tanks do a little bit of an Ultramarine shuffle. Going into shooting, we're gonna start the party with this Dreadnought in front here, which only really can see the Norn uh, Simulator. So it's got Gatling. So what I'm really gonna be fishing for here is the devastating wounds. Crusher Stampede, especially Tyranids, will punish you in close. So I need to try to mitigate that crash as much as I can by taking out as many of those monsters as possible with this first round of shooting. I'm gonna start off with the heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon. Hitting on threes, re-rolling because of Os. These are lethal, so they already wound. Unfortunately, that means they're not gonna proc devastating. So everything does hit. I'm wounding on fives. Sixes are devastating. Ooh. One wound, but no uh, devastating. This is where I'm gonna use the Iron Storm's detachment rule. I'm gonna fish. Yep. Nope, so you have four saves, no AP. Look for twos. Hey, look, me them all. Then I'm gonna go with the Onslaught Gatling Cannon, the eight shots, yep. hitting on threes, two sixes, so those are auto. Then I'm gonna take this and your oath moment. Missed with that one, but now I need sixes. Oh, I got oh, two. Go. So those are devastating. So that's gonna be two damage automatically, and then can I make two more saves? I can, so I take two damage. So he's down to 14 wounds remaining. Stormbolter, let's see if I can uh, tickle you a little bit. Those are double ones. Rerolling. Hey! hey and they, and they automatically <laughs> wound. <laughs> And I saved them. D3 shots from the rocket pod. Yep. I get one try at this. I missed. Oh, the moment? Yep. 
I hit 105, because it's strength eight. That is a miss. So that is him done. And 14 wounds remaining, yay. Well, this is straight out one into the north. The last cannon. Both hit, threes. I am going to use the army roll. So the reroll here for the wound. Nope. So one save, AP. Minus three. So minus two, because I've got cover. Four is good. Uh, crack missiles. They both hit, fives. Uh, there is a uh, six in there. Yeah, rolled six. Pax using the supreme strategist ability here off of Gulliman to use a strat for zero command points. Mercy is weakness. That is a new Ironstorm Spearhead stratagem, and he's using it on the Brutalis Dread. It means it's going to score critical hits on a five up. Mubi knows that stratagem will be a problem and uses Swarm Lord's maligned presence to make Mercy is weakness cost one extra command point for the rest of the game. Enjoy your free fun for this time, because it'll cost you one starting going forward. Now I have sustained hits one on all of his guns, and okay, I crit on fives. Crack profile. Oh, ho, ho, ho. two lethals and then two sustained. Yeah. Wow. Three saves. AP two, so AP one, so taking threes. Yeah, I make two fail one. So this is D6. Three. And then last cannon time. Can I double fives here again? Double fours. You could always fish for it with Wealth of Moment. No. Come on. And then wounding on threes. Yes. There is a wound. This is where I'm going to spend it. Better for me to force you to take a save than it is for me. Uh, so they both wound. There you go. Fours? No, fails both. D6 plus one each. And this is where I spend a command point. Command reroll one of those. It's still a four up. Oh, it's a three. The Norn Assimilator is absolutely getting punished. 12 damage. Four that, damage. That'll do it. Does he go boom? Oh, he doesn't go boom. But you got him. First blood. Ooh, first blood. Here comes the Astraeus. Astraeus firing everything it has into the Tyrannophans. Twin macro accelerator auto cannon. Yep. First. I got lethals and sustains. Now, this is only a strict nine, so I'm winning on fives. So, twin linked. Got one more in there. Four. Only AP1. Going to three ups. He's okay. The two last rippers can go into him most well. Yep. Iron Storm reroll. Hey, and it's a lethal. AP three. So going to five up. He's okay. Oh. Eat Storm Bolter. Don't eat the Not Storm like Bolter. That. Iron Hail. Yep. Hey, you. there's one. Okay. He's okay. Wow, it did absolutely nothing. Tyrannofix just tanked the super tank. So we're both execution now, executing the Screamer Killer. So we're gonna go with the Laser Destroyer. Yep. This is where I use the reroll. Uh, Wounding. At least it wounded, hit before. Six is. That was a six too. Oh, it's only a four. Uh, D6 plus three? D6 plus four. You could potentially just one-shot it here. He's only got 10 wounds? He's only got 10 wounds. Oh, so if I roll six here, he goes splat. Nope. So he has three <laughs> wounds left. You've made him really, really angry now. Because now he has plus one to hit and wounds. Because he's below half strength? Yep. <laughs> Let's see if the Gatling goes bird squeezy. Ooh. Ooh. So I've got two lethals in there. Those all hit. I am looking for fives. Sixes! Oh Ooh. no, there's just <laughs> enough sixes. Cause I can't save against it. And just because, you know, Nick likes explosions. No, no boom for him. No, not Squeezy! Killing Squeezy was easy peasy. That is my turn. Tax on the scoreboard with some kills. He's got four points for the Norn Assimilator and three for Squeezy the Screamer Killer. Ultramarines go up to seven nothing as we head into Mubin's turn one. Now it's time for payback. So, start of my command phase. Swarm Lord on the battlefield gains movement an additional command point, so both players did a two. Start of my turn, I only have one singular purpose. It's move my Tyranids forward. I would normally hand out Synapse with the Nero Tyrant, but I've got no one to give Synapse to at the moment. So it's just straight onto movement phase. And we're gonna start with the Norn Emissary. Norn Emissary is on the center objective now, and that's gonna give it all of its bonuses. He's gonna be harder to shift with a five up field of pain and objective control 15. I don't think Tack is ever gonna storm that hostile objective. Screamer Killer's gonna advance. Go Huggy, go. Four is still acceptable. So it's going 14. Yep, it actually gets there. We're just gonna storm Lord a little bit forward. Don't wanna put him in too much danger yet. So he's gonna just move up to there and keep some cover. Your Tyrant's just gonna peek out around the corner here. Really? But if you wanna come kill me, you gotta get off that objective. And Tyrant Effects is just gonna sit right there. Because he's got heavy. Because he's got heavy. 
I'm starting with the Emissary first. I'm going to use my Psychic Tendril. I'm going to use the Neural Lance profile. So it's basically two last cannon shots into the Gatling Dreadnought on twos. Hits with both. And then looking for threes because strength 12. Wounds with both. Three AP, D6 damage. My two goes to a five. Fives for days. Oh. How about twos for days? Two D6. You're not in Melter range at least. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not great damage. Movement wants to command reroll. A five. So four and two. Six damage total. The Redemptor's alive with six wounds remaining. Screamer killer now into the Redemptor Dreadnought. Eight. Good scream. Still looking for fours and then fives. That's nothing. Oh boy, and you had the assault weapon too, sir. Terran Effect needs to do some work here. Rupture cannon into the Ballistus and the Stinger Salvo to try and strip some wounds from the Redemptor. Looking for threes and then sixes into the Redemptor. And sixes. Yeah, you got two sixes. Yeah. AP nothing though. Two ups. Hey, you oh. took a damage. Rupture cannon into that Ballistus. Two shots. Both hit. And then wounding on threes because it's strength 18. Only one, but it's AP four. So you're pushing me to a six. No, it isn't. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh wow, Jeebus tech. Clutch roll. I've only got the Neuro Tyrant left. He's just gonna scream at the Brutalis. 2d6, Torrent, ignores cover, all the good stuff. Okay. 11. <laughs> Looking for sixes. Yeah, I got two. AP one, two damage each though. Three up safe. Yay. Well, of which I make only one. Two damage. Down to 10. Charge phase and a cunning plan from Mubin. He's gonna charge the Redemptor Dreadnought with an Orn Emissary in hopes of killing it and then consolidate back onto the center objective. See if you can do this. Think the 10 does it. Yep, 10 gets you to the barricade. Oh no. Because monsters finally got this, I'm gonna spend one command point for massive impact. Because I just get six dice straight and it's on four ups. You take mortal wounds. So is it enough? Uh, I only do one. Really? Just one. Oh, Mubin. Supreme strategist again from Gilliman with Armor of Contempt. I'm targeting the Dreadnought. So starting with the Monster Scything Talons, I'm looking for twos and then fives. Just don't miss one. Looking for fives. Seriously, not a single one? Killing me here, buddy. But you're not killing me. I've got four extra attacks with my Rending Claws. Drop one again. Looking for fives. There's a five and a six in there. And those are both AP two, two damage each. If I go to AP one because of Armor of Contempt, the Tyranids have got a kill. No explosion, and Nick is sad. Movement's plan has worked. Consolidates back out of the center objective with the Norn Emissary. OC 15 and 5 up field, no pain again. So that's actually gonna score me three right. points. I managed to put myself on the scoreboard. I'm still behind, but I still have two more monsters in reserves. End of the first turn, Movement has lost two monsters. I've only lost a single Dreadnought. Great board presence, and the Nord Emissary has got its objective. Solid and bloody turn one. Three secondary points for Mubin, seven for Tack. Mubin's out of command points, Tack sits at two. I think we're just gonna see more death and destruction turn two, and I gotta tell you folks, I'm here for it. Got round two. I get a command point. I'm up to three. Oh, that Supreme Strategist is so good. Ultramarines are on two objectives for 10 points. Tax turn two, and he's electing Master of Battle with Author of Codex, and that's gonna let him select two Oath of Moment targets. He's gonna choose the Tyrant effects for Oath of Moment, and if it dies, then that Norn Emissary will be Oath as well. You think you can actually bring him down? Movement, you're not the only person that gets angry when things die. Tech Marine witnessed that Redemptor Dreadnought die, filled with rage. It's time for Vengeance of the Omnissiah, and the Tech Marine now has seven attacks with his axe. That's right, kill one of my robots, and I get mad. Tech Marine blesses the Ballista's Dread, giving it plus one to hit. Tack can really only shuffle a bit in his own deployment zone and may be lamenting the lack of close combat in his main force. That is it for movement. I'm gonna spend a command point and I'm going to rapid ingress. Trigon's gonna come in and he's got a beautiful little rule because he comes in from Deep Strike called Subterranean Assault, which allows me to land just three, more than three inches away. Just putting him on this side. So that way I still get the cover. 
very unlikely I'm gonna kill both of those on that objective. And so you hold it for next turn. So we move on to the shooting phase. The Brutalis Dreadnought is gonna take all of its shots and it's actually gonna go into the Tron effects because it is an Oath of Moment target. We'll start with the Meltos because this is what matters. Two shots, Oath of Moment. Let's convert, uh, hit once, and then wounding on fives. That is a wound. It be four. Four going to three, because you definitely can't see all of them. Fives. Nope. nope. Not in melta range. D6, full six. Drop them down to 10, why don't you? He's angry now. Now he can move around and hit you on twos. I will now go with the twin Icarus. I'm in rapid fire range, so it's a full six. Are we rolling? Sixes! Not a single nice. six. Twin links, so uh, I failed the first time. Yep. Here is the second time. I got one. And a two. Hey, he's okay. The ATV is only in range of the Nero Tyrant. Uh, Meltzel first. I got one. So you know what? I'm going to use the Iron Storm reroll here. Nope. And then to wound. Take that is a wound. wound. Four up in wall on him. No. D6 damage, four, a total five. Ooh. I'll take it. Okay, it's down to four. And you made him mad too. This is great. Now it's a twin bolt rifle. Yep. Nope. So the stress is gonna go now into the Tyrant effects. It's gonna try very hard to do something this time. I'm gonna go with the twin macro first. I am in lethal range. I am re-rolling the one and the two. Everything hits. Got uh, two sustain in there as well. I am now wounding on fives. Fives are rolling. Ooh. Ooh. More shots. Oh, I score another three. 10. Ooh. I shot 12 times. I wounded 10. Looking for threes. He filled three though. They're three damage each. I'm gonna zero one of these out, so I'm left with a single wound. Here come the last rippers. Hooyah! I have three hits, and then here's the oath. Only three. Winning on fours. I got one through, but this is the Iron Storm reroll. Nope, no, only one. AP three is the last kind of thing. Looking for five. For five, you. Into the oh. box. It's a five, isn't it? It's a six. It's yes. still a six. He's alive with one. Onto the heavy bolter. I got one six in there, so it's also a saint and lethal. I'm rerolling these. Two hits. I'm looking for sixes. Nope. No sixes. Oh, twin links. Looking for sixes. Nope. Nope. Just need a three up. It's a four. Iron hail. Of course, because I think has so many guns. Two hits. Hitting. There's one. Two. He's a five. Is he really alive with one? He's really alive with one. Gilliman. Primark going for glory. Gilliman from downtown with a hand of dominion. Uh, yep, hit both, like but now we need sixes. Hoo yeah. No. Nope. One last chance. Iron Storm reroll. It's a six. Pretty sure I've got cover from Gilliman though. So AP2 goes to AP1. Still looking for three. It's good! Tyrannifex is slapped from across the table. Which means the Emissary is now the Oath. Blessed Dreadnought number one is going to go into the Northern Emissary, which is the Oath target. Crack Missile first. Two shots. One miss, but I can reroll. Both hit. I need fives. Hoo yeah. Nope. So now it's the last cannon. Oh, hitting on twos. Yep. They both hit. Wounding on threes, though, with the last. They are both wounds. Four open balls. Yay! I mean, no, neither of no, them. No, no, no. It's fine. I still feel no pain. Damage D6 plus one each. Five and a two. Iron Storm reroll. Two or three. So that's a little bit better. Eight going to ten. Five up, feel no pain. Hey, okay, okay. I think three damage. That is pretty good. So he's down to 13 wounds remaining now. Storm Bolter. One lethal in there hey. from the Storm Bolters. And then uh, all my Storm Bolters hit. But now I need sixes again. More sixes. How about another, another one? Twin links? Twos. Hey, he's okay. I would love to do Mercy as Weakness. However, you made it cost an extra command point. The Iron Storm Spearhead detachment has so many good stratagems. There is gonna be other cool things for me to do. So same thing, we're gonna start with the Crack Missile. Just lethal hits? AP two. Going to AP one, three ups. He's okay. Two last cannons. Last cannons. They both hit. Wounding on threes. You haven't used your reroll yet. Nope, just the one. He's okay. There's Storm Bolters. There's a lethal in there at least. Uh, there's two, two lethals. I need sixes again. Rerolling. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is it really? No. Okay, you oh, got no. three. No. I'm just gonna go with the Repulsor Executioner. It's gonna try to kill Huggy. 
I didn't name it. Don't look at me. Laser destroyer. Pew, pew. One hit. All right, so we roll here. I still fail. And then wounding on threes. That is a wound. It'd be four. So six. So close. D6 plus four. One shot kill. <laughs> I leave you with one. All right, one wound remaining on Streamer Killer too. And you still have the Gatling to go. Uh, so that is one lethal, um, which is not actually great in this instance because... Uh, you kind of want the devastating wounds. Yeah. Just need one. There's my one. There's the one. Does he go boom? That is not a boom. I wanted him to boom so he'd hurt Swarmlord oh, so and make him angry. Right. Oh, Screamer Killer's turn to red miss, but Boomin's forethought with the Trigon keeps him on that objective. So we now move into the charge phase. We are going to charge Brutalis Dreadnought into the Neural Tyrant. I failed horribly. Uh, not with a 10. Oh god, no. So, I have ended a charge move. So I'm gonna proc Brutalis Charge. Oh no. And I'm gonna roll a dice and see what happens. Oh no. Oh yeah? Uh, it is only a three, so that's D3, mortal wounds. Uh, I roll for full three. Oh, he's, he's down to one, one wound left as well. Gilliman is going to charge into the Norn. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Boom. I can't get onto the objective, unfortunately. So Gilliman's going to go. Uh, we are going to use the Hand of Dominion. You're going to try and punch a Norn out. Uh, hitting on twos, but I got lethal. Okay. Couple lethal. I did roll one, which I'm going to reroll because you are the oath target. So those all. Hit. Strength 14. Looking for threes. Here we go. I failed two of them. However, Iron Storm, reroll. Yep. Get another one. So that is six saves. AP four. Four up in bulls it is. I made four of them. Four damage each. So I got eight damage coming in. Mm -hmm. I got five up feel no pains. That still brings me down to eight wounds, which is so close. Uh, Brutalis time. Hitting on threes. I miss two. two. However, the weapon is twin linked. I'm going to use my Iron Storm reroll here. Uh, nope. Hey, you still fail. Strength 12, so I'm wounding on threes. Which I'm going to make all without rerolls. AP2. It's just four up in balls, right? Uh, Fail with one. No! I failed the one. No! Frame goes squish. Can the emissary right. Merc Gilliman? We're about to find out. All right, monstrous silent talons. Hits on twos anyways, but drops one. Strength, nine. Looking for fours. I got four of them, EP two, three damage. Four up involved. Bill three of them. What does that mean? That's nine wounds. He has one wound left. So I'm gonna burn a command point, and I'm going to do command reroll, and see if I can ignore one more. Nope. I no. Guess what? I still have extra attacks coming in. And they all hit, but these are only strength seven, so winning on fives here. And I still get two of them. AP2, two, two damage each. So I still have my four ups. Gilliman? Nom nom. Oh. One yeah. wound remaining. Uh, that was pretty bloody. I can't complain. You can, I can. Tax scores another nine points though and bring it down, but fails to do anything on Storm Hostile again. The Norn Emissary is still up, and that could spell disaster for the Ultramarine forces. However, Tax sits in the lead 26 to 3. Command phase, my turn. Swarmlord continues to give Moobin extra command points. He's up to two and tax up to three. No battle shock from all the death and destruction, fortunately for Moobin. He does score 10 points on primary as well. If he can catch up on kills, we could see the Tyranids either cut into that Ultramarine lead or take it outright. In the movement phase, we're gonna start with the Swarmlord. He's gonna come around and hop onto this objective for now. Go all the way. Trigon's in nice and close to a lot of your shooty things. And at the end of my movement phase, reinforcements. Flying Hive Tyrant is going to pop in nine inches away on that side. So no Overwatch. Ooh, no Overwatch. Interesting choice. Looks like Tack is hyper-focused on wanting to use his command points elsewhere. What does his new formation have in store for us? I'm hoping to use some of the really cool Iron Storm specific stratagems here. So I'm having a hard time just firing Overwatch because I want to try the new stuff. The shooting phase. I'm going to go with the Swarmlord first. Gilliman's a monster and I can shoot monsters in combat. Swarmlord has a good old synaptic pulse, which is a torrent at 18 inches. So D6 plus three. I'm still going to wound on fives though. I can live with that, seven shots. Just fives, going straight to wounding. That's still three. And these are AP one, two damage each. And you only have one. So you kindly fail one. So three ups. Can I kindly? I do kindly. 
Gulliman goes down for the first time. That scores a move in big time, bring it down points, but he might get back up. Gonna go over to the Norn Emissary now. Gonna go with a Neural Lance into the second Ballistus. The one that could blow up in my face. We're still hitting on twos. Both hit. Winning on threes, because strength 12. Both wounds. AP three, D6 damage each. You'd have cover. I can't see all of you. Four ups. One. One. D6 damage. Only four. Well, he's got eight wounds remaining. The Trigon is going to go ahead with his bioelectric pulse and just shoot into that same ballistas. This sustained two. Looking for threes. Yeah, I got a sustain and everything else hit. Six. If you take me below half, I get to shoot back. I got two. They be nothing. I do feel one. one. But not below half. Big question though is, now that I'm done shooting, mm -hmm. does Gilliman stand back up? Is a three up now? Yeah. Gilliman, are you the hero? He's a hero. He's a hero. Oh, Gilliman is back up. Now we're moving on to the charge race. Swarmlord is gonna go for the charge. I think a nine does it. Looks like. Swarmlord's in. And you know what? For good measure, the Norn Emissary. Just enough. <laughs> Way more than just enough. Oh yeah. The Trigon is gonna multi-charge the uninjured Ballistas and the Astraeus. At least forces them both to be minus one to hit if they shoot. Trigon. Yep, he makes it in, five inches. Into both? Yep. And then the big one. You do need a nine. It's a seven. Does it have an ability? Yep. It's just like the captains. It's been a battle tactic for zero CP on a friendly Tyranid unit. It's the will of the hive mind. Does the hive mind will it? Nope. But that's okay. It didn't cost me a CP. That doesn't look good for Gilliman. All right, time to fight. I'm going with the Swarm Lord first. I'm gonna spend a command point from the Swarm Lord for Savage Roar. Gilliman takes a battle shock test. If he passes, he's minus one to hit in combat. If he fails, he's also minus one to wound. And uh, you may stop me from using Armor Contempt and the counter offensive. Battle shock test here? Of course you're okay. So only minus one to hit penalty in melee, but worth the shot. Armor Contempt on Gilliman. All right, looking for twos, and then looking for fours re-rolling, because you're T9, and I'm friendly. Yeah, drop one. Looking for fours. I only failed two. It is two unlinked. Make one more. Six saves. AP one because of armor of contempt, but they're three damage each. Three ups, here we go. Oh, whoa. oh, and he's gone. One sword for every limb, the head blade cutting Gullivan in half right down the middle. Swarmlord, unfortunately, can't really go anywhere because he can't get into engagement range with the Ballistas or onto an objective. So the Norn's gonna activate and he's just gonna scooch back onto that objective. And then the Trigons are gonna do Trigon things. And I'm gonna do it into the Ballistas. Because the Asterius is a little tankier. 12 attacks, looking for threes and then fives because he's only strength nine. Loses a few, and then on fives. Three of them, they're EP2, three damage each. Got four ups. You fail two, three damage each. Six, so I've got six wounds remaining. Oh, will bring you to half. And then you get to fight back. I am gonna kick you now. Don't do it. Uh, I'm not. The three I do hit a three. Yeah. Okay. That's a wound. AP nothing, so three yeah. up. Yeah. Take my kick. <laughs> he takes a kick. Yeah. One damage. But all I did was manage to make you angry. <laughs> you made me hit on twos now. All right, so I am now gonna take my hull, this massive brick of resin. Ramming speed. I'm not going very far. Ooh, only Dang. two. I hit on fours. Strength eight. Oh, I got one. Do you take this one too? Not oh, this wait. time. Nope. Trigon doesn't really do much, and the tanks don't do much to it in response, but this could be a big turning point for the Tyranids, who have taken down a Primarch twice. Now, the board state is interesting. You are going to be able to do a lot with very little. We'll see what happens in turn three. Movement scores bring it down for every instance Gulliman was destroyed. So six more points on bring it down and we set it a score of 26-19. I think turn three is gonna be the tell which way this one goes. That's my prediction and not because I've already seen the game, but. Round three, fight. I'm on one, two. I'm scoring 10 on primary. Right. So I, I do have a pretty good lead. I could just put the game away through murder. Either the Tyranids are gonna continue to stuff the Ultramarines into their corner and deny them points, or all of the Ultramarine big guns are gonna go and the Tyranids are gonna be like, oh, at the moment will be, I'm going to oath the Flying Hive turn. Tack knows victory is within his grasp, and what could clinch it is the destruction of that flying hive tyrant, as it has the most mobility in Movin's list. 
Also on the command phase, yep. the Tech Marine is going to heal this uh, Dreadnought here. Tech Marine repairs the damaged Dreadnought. Only one wound back, but more importantly, it can now do better. Plus one to hit with last cannons are absolutely no joke. Before you go any further though, would you kindly make a bunch of battle shock for me because there's shadows in the warp. Did the Vitalis Dreadnought? He's okay. way okay. He's... ATV? Ooh. Yeah, he's okay. Tank? Tank is okay. The Tech Marine is okay. I... The Dreadnought is five, so that fails. Dreadnought two, one? yeah. He's okay. And then the Strius is okay. You and your leadership six. So I'm gonna spend one command point. Tax using the stratagem Ancient Fury on the Brutalis Dreadnought. That's gonna add one to many of its characteristics and it's gonna give it plus one ahead. I had the thought of moving that Brutalis Dreadnought towards that objective, but with nine inches, I won't actually get there. So I would love to move him towards the north. He's still outside of 12. If I move this way, he's got shots here and he's on that objective. So that's mm -hmm. fine. These two are gonna stay locked in combat because by doing so, they can still shoot. Unfortunately, that means I'm kind of hemmed in here with that. Can't really go anywhere. Which also hems in my tech marine. Because my tech marine continues to want to give people the buff. No other movement available to me. We will go into the shooting phase. Invader ATV, multi melter into the flying hive tyrant. They both hit, so we're needing fours. That is Ooh. both. Four up and well saves. Doesn't Jesus. make either. Wow. He's gonna go ahead and use Will of the Hive Mind. Three command point. Command reroll. Neither of them. How many wounds on a flying hive turret? He's got a whopping ten. <laughs> <laughs> ten. <laughs> I'm gonna do a whopping this much damage. He's left him with one wound left. Nope. Yeah. Iron Storm. Do less now. Nope. Nine. One wound remaining. I've got the twin uh, bolt rifles, uh, which I think is just two shots at this range. One hit. Uh, you are my oath target. Two hits. String four, so. Man, that is hard. Uh, nope, it's twin linked. There's the one. Two up. He's okay. You live with one wound remaining. So next up is going to be the Buchal Strip. I'm going to take the twin Icarus. Yep. It's going to go into the Flying Heart Tire. And then the Meltas are going to go into the Norn. Everything hits. Sure. Winning on four is because of an anti fly four. Okay. I got two. two of them. I got three. Twos! He's okay. These are twin melter. No. I hit once. I'm gonna to try to hit here. Okay. I do, because plus one, because of the, the Ancient Fury. I need uh, fives, but it's twin linked. So I got one. Do I get two? I do no. not. Four up and full save. No four up and full save. Damage. Three. Feel no pain. Hey, there it is. I only take one. Is he below half? So he's angrier? Oh, yeah. The tech marine is going to finish off your fire hacker. Ah. Winning on fives because it's a string five. Yep. Nothing. I right, sorry, reroll. Nope. This is not going according to plan A. Plan A was supposed to be lots of murder. I'm going to take the Gatling and I'm going to go into the flying hive tower. Okay. I'm going to take the laser destroyer and I'm going to put it into the storm lord. Repulsor Executioner now into the Flying Hive Tyrant. Uh, ooh. Good lord. Good thing you are my oh, oh, the moment, moment target. target. Four lethals, looking for any six here, and he's dead. There's the sixes. <laughs> Goodbye. Just for the sake of it. Nope, still no booms. Okay. Goodbye, Flyrin. Uh, going to the Swarm Lord now with the, with the Heavy Laser Destroyer. Yep. One hit. Oh, it didn't move. I hit on twos. Wounding on threes. Both wound. AP bonkers, so four up and full save. Makes one, fails one. Uh, D6 plus four damage. So if I roll six here, what happens? Six. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep. I haven't used my iron yeah, sword. Yeah, yeah. Into a six. Uh, but eight. Okay. You're down to two wounds remaining. Bloop. I'm gonna try to finish this off the Swarm Lord. The bliss right now that is Battle Shocked is gonna go into the Swarm Lord. So we'll do the crack missiles first. Hitting on twos yep. because of the plus one. They both hit. Only on fours because this is a uh, lower string. Only one. He's okay. Last cannon. So here we go. I got one. One's all you need. Iron Storm. Two. I'm winning on threes. One. Four up and four. 
He's okay. Hey. I am in uh, rapid fire range with the uh, storm bolters. Pew pew. One lethal, two hits, no sixes. Just the one lethal. Oh yeah, let's film like. Uh, so you made the first save? Yep. Uh, one more. Nope, takes the damage. Down to one? Down to one, again. 12 wounds left on this bad boy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the stress. I'm going to put all the shots into the Trigon. If I manage to kill it, then at least that frees up the Dreadnought fire right to fire yeah. normal. For insult, the Iron Hail will fire at the Soul Lord. But you're split firing, so you're gonna fail. Nick, plus me. Oh, two go away. Uh, but it's the same hits one, so uh, three go back in. Mm -hmm. I lethal. Uh, now I need fives. It's twinling. Ooh, hoo, hoo, he's Ooh. angry. I'm only rerolling two of them. That's a lot of ow. 11. Four ups. That's not bad, but not enough. I feel five. Five times three is 15. Oh boy, the Trigon is now a bygone. He is super dead. Oh, I'm in rapid fire. Pew. Three auto wounds, and I need a six here, which I do not get. Twos. Are you kidding me? He still fails one. He rolls a one, two, and a three. <laughs> Mubin's using the stratagem Corrosive Viscera to automatically explode Swarmlord. Hey, Nick, we got an explosion. Hey! The blood everywhere, even on myself. So I'm going to start with the ballistas first. Uh, I want at least two. No, 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 no. Uh, of course. And of course I rolled the two on myself, but four up feel no pain because it's mortal wounds. He's OK. Well, couldn't quite bring him down the way I wanted to, but he tried. And we know the Swarm Lord is going to be back. He just gets reabsorbed and then spat back out somewhere else where we need him. The Terriers are very good at recycling. Tax having to use two command points on Mercy as weakness, but goes for the tabling here and now. I'm hitting on threes. Start with the crack profile first. That is a six. So that is both a lethal and a sustained. Four will not wound. So just one. Three ups. He's okay. Last cannons. Oh boy. No sustained. Both but they both hit. Yep. So here we go. The wounding, I do one with you both. Now these are on four up involves. Good. good. We're good. Does he have storm bolters? He does. Are you in rapid fire range? You are. Will this kill you? It won't. No. But you're gonna do it anyways. I hit with everything. Pink. Twin linked. Not that. Okay, so. Oh. Uh, I can't charge oh. with the Brutalis. I don't want to charge with any of these guys. I've maxed out my um, my bring it down. Tax max out, bring it down secondary here at 20 points and continues to not be able to score Storm Hostile objective. Movement looks at the score, 40 to 19, knows he can't win, but won't go down without a fight. No concession. Movement wants to see what the Norn Emissary can do. As is his want, Moobin woke up this morning and chose violence. What can the Norn do? Well, for starters, it scores Moon five points on the objective, taking him to 24. He's only down by 16. I need to do Battle Shock first. Yeah, he makes it. What a surprise. Moving. I'm going to Overwatch. Nope. Close this Dreadnought. The so crack first. I'm looking for sixes. So close. Uh, yeah. Then last cannons. Looking for sixes. Nope. Iron Storm. Nope. With Storm Bolters. There's one, and it's a lethal hit. Thanks for finally listening. Well, now that I'm actually plus one to hit and plus one to wound, this is gonna be great. Fire my Neuro Lance ability into the one with eight wounds left, because I get to hit it on twos and wound it on twos. Hits with both, wounding you on twos now. Wounds both, AP three, D6 damage each. I've got a mighty, mighty five up, of which I make one. You need to take three damage. Take me down to five. I'm gonna multi-charge both of them. Okay. Yep, the 10 will do. I'm spending a command point. Massive impact. Let's do it on the one that isn't battle shocked. So six dice, four ups, mortal wounds for each of those. I get two. So it goes down to three. My Scything Talons are gonna go into the battle shocked one, and the Rending Claws are gonna go into the other one. Six attacks with the Scything Talons first. Can I spend my last command point? Rampaging monstrosities. I get reroll hits. So hitting on two is rerolling. Hit with everything. Wounding on fours this time around. So only three. AP two, three damage each. Go to fours. I have five wounds left. Okay. Or fail none of them. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, these are into the other. Yeah, these are into the other dreadnought, but these aren't twos, and they all hit. 
And winning on fours to strength seven. Is he got any gas left in his tank? Can he take anybody else out? With the plus one to wound. Only one. AP 2-2 two, two damage. And no. No, he can't. That game's pretty much done. Writing's on the wall. Attack turns all his guns on the Norn and blasts it into smithereens. The Norn explodes and rains down its acidic guts all over the battlefield. And it kills the Tech Marine. That feels good. It explodes, it takes out the Tech Marine. Moomin got himself a final kill. How cinematic is that? What a showing from the Ironstorm Spearhead. Final score with Paint is 70 to 34 for the Ultramarines. There are many ways to play Warhammer 40k, and this game was about two players that wanted to put down some thematic forces. Moomin wanted to go full Monster Mash with Crusher Stampede, and Tack wanted Tanks and Dreadnoughts for the Ironstorm Spearhead. Good game. Good game. That was a lot of fun. I have more experimenting to do with Tyranids. Yes, I ran away with a, with a score and a yeah. table you turn four, but this list is a killing list. It may actually have trouble scoring. I don't know. The score really didn't matter in this one. Thank you again, Tack. That was an amazing game. We had a blast. Our games are always fun. I'm really enjoying the new codexes. Movement is always a blast to play because we both love to bring these kind of ridiculous, really fun kind of creative lists. Till we see you next time in the far-flung future of the Grimdark Universe. Play Boy on. on. We want to thank everybody for watching this game. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. We greatly appreciate the support from all of our fans and all of our sponsors. If you use code PLAYON, you're going to get some free gifts when you sign into the game. That's awesome. And until we see you next time in a galaxy being enveloped by the far-reaching tendrils of High Fleet Leviathan, would the brave space marines be fighting an impossible war for survival in the far-flung future of a grim dark universe? Play on.